Mga kabaliwan, nandito ako ngayon sa bago kong nakilala na nag-breed ng peta fish. Ito si Jude. Ah, ako ang kinala mo si Josh. Yeah. So, papakita ko yung setup niya. Actually, ang ganda nung mga ano niya eh, mga 
beta fish na rito, alagang-alaga. Yan. So, nabibreed siya ng sarili niyang, meron siya mga lugar. Yan, nagbibreed din siya. Pag itong mga to, hindi na benta lahat. Pamimigay ko. Yan, yeah, freebie. Yan, yeah, freebie yan. Yeah. Freebie siya sa mga gusto bumili sa kanya. Yan. So, magaganda po yung mga kulay ng mga beta fish niya. So, dahil uh, kaka-setup lang ng bago kong tank, bibili ako ngayon ng beta fish sa kanya. Yan. So, let's go na. <laughs> Okay guys, mga kabaliwan, right now, we will be having a partial water change for our two beta fish tanks. So, I'm going to use a talisay leaves, uh, commonly known as the Indian almond leaves. It came from the Indian almond tree and or katapa leaves. Okay? So, you can check it, google it, katapa or Indian almond leaves or talisay. Many aquarists actually use these leaves to give quality of the water in your aquarium. So just Google it and check Katapa leaves or Indian almond leaves. This is actually a native of Southeast Asia. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use this. Let's go. Okay guys, what I did here is I just left these three leaves overnight in a pitcher of water. So you can use bucket or any container as long it's clean. So you will have it overnight. The next day you will have this tea colored water. So now we're going to use this uh, as a mixture of our fish tank. So you can actually use this not just uh, for betta fish but to all your tanks. Or, just to keep it simpler, just get your leaf and just leave it like this overnight. 